Hello people, here are Valorant tips and tricks for every single agent on Ascent. Now, should Gecko's mosh pit be nerfed? Quite frankly, I don't care, so here are Gecko lineups for Ascent A site. For the first lineup, you want to go right over here onto the corner of this Radiantite box just like that. Now from this corner, I want you to pay attention to the corner of that ledge right there. That will be your reference point. Now take out the mosh pit, place the right dot above your mosh pit ability icon thing right there on that reference point. And then just do a regular throw. This should be able to clear all of gen when you're entering the site. Our second lineup positions us at the exact same spot right here on this corner. And from this corner, I want you to pay attention to the top of that cloud. Now take out your mosh pit and I want you to move your crosshair down up until this hot bar line touches that plant. Do a jumping throw and this mosh pit should clear all of dice. Our last lineup would be for a defender round so you want to go right over here onto this corner right by the barrier on cat. Now from this corner all you have to do is aim at the top left tip of that thing right over there. The barrier goes down, take out your flash, and then do a jumping throw. This should flash anybody that's pushing up A-Main. Now here's an easy pocket KO flash that you can use to support your team who's peeking onto A-Main. First, you want to go right over here onto this corner just like that. Now from this corner, all you have to do is aim at the center of that window. That's literally all you have to do. Take out your flash and then do a jumping throw. The flash pops behind your teammate and no matter where your enemies are on A main, they will always be flashed. When you run forward while throwing Sky's flash and then popping it at the same time, it doesn't blind you but it does blind all of your opponents. But did you know that you can also use this as an anti-flash for yourself? So when an enemy flashes you for a full duration, use this technique and the flash duration will be lessened. Let's stay here on the B site, here's a surprising breach flash for lane. Doing this is very simple, stay in this corner, crouch, and when you feel like enemies are pushing lane, flash through the ground like so. Moving on to Sova, here's a double shock dart lineup for market. So once the round begins and the barriers drop, you want to place yourself in this corner right here by tiles. Now from this corner, you want to pay attention to that roof above that window. The bottom of the right support will be your reference point. Now for your first arrow, I want you to place the top left tip of your hotbar line which is below your recon dart ability icon right there on that reference point. You're gonna take out your bow and you want to fire this arrow with two charges. After that, you want to pay attention to the top of this white box where that wire ends. That will be your second reference point. You will then take the bottom of the center of your owl drone ability icon and place it right there on that reference point. Once that's done, you take out your bow and then you fire this arrow with one charge. Put two and two together and it's gonna look something like this. Lineup Finesse Here's a Fade Retake Haunt lineup for Ascent A site. By the way, this lineup isn't mine. I saw it on TikTok like a few months ago. I couldn't find the original video, so I couldn't find who the creator is, but whoever made this lineup, props to you. Anyways, you want to go right over here onto this corner just like that. Now from this corner, I want you to pay attention to the bottom left tip of that frame thing right over there by this arch. Now take out your Haunt and I want you to place the edge of your HUD bar line right there on that reference point and then do a regular throw. The Haunt lands right over here and pretty much scans all of A site. I know, I know, lineups can get tiring, so here are 5 simple jet updrafts for Ascent. The first one would be right here on A main, jump up over here, and then use your double updraft to peek onto A site with your knives. The second one would be the reverse of that, go right over here on top of Jen, go to the edge, do your double updraft, and peek onto A lobby. Moving on to the B site, you can go right over here against this wall and then you can use either one of your updrafts to peek onto site or into market. That updraft also has a reverse, you can go right over here against the wall on the other side when you're defending and then you can use your updraft to peek onto B main. And lastly, you can use your double updrafts to take or retake B site from market. Do you like Yoru TPs that go across the map because they look cool? I do too, so here are 3 lineups for you. For the first one, you want to place yourself against this corner just like that, and from this corner, I want you to pay attention to that box right over there by the arch. I want you to aim at the middle of the right side of that box, but make sure it's slightly up. Take out your TP and then cast it out. Oh yeah, and 99% of you aren't subscribed by the way. So subscribe! Please? Thank you. Now this TP goes all the way over there behind B lobby. When you're ready, throw a flash, face the right direction, and then TP, flank your enemies from behind assuming they didn't see this one. How do you set a convincing fake rush in Valorant? With utils and Yoru teleports. So if you want to fake a push with Yoru and rotate really quickly, set your clone down over here, and then you want to go right over here up against this wall just like that. Now from this wall, I want you to pay attention to that Radiant box. You're going to notice the top tip of that right diamond right over there. That's where you have to aim to cast out your TP. Now this TP goes all the way over there onto B main, allowing you to fake a push on A site with your util and flashes, and then TPing to rejoin your team on the B push. And lastly, you can go right over here onto this corner on tiles, aim right there at the center of that X, but move it to the right tip of the center. You can kind of see where my crosshair is right now. It's not perfectly aligned at the center. It's kind of a little bit to the right. Take out your 
your TP and then cast it out. Now this TP goes all the way to enemy spawn. Now once you're ready, throw a flash to mask the sound of your teleport. Teleport behind your enemies, flank them from behind. If you want to retake a site with Raze, here's a simple lineup that can help you. Go right over here onto this line just like that and I want you to aim right there at the bottom area of that cannon thing right over there. Take out your molly, do a regular throw, it bounces off that cannon and lands right there on Jen. You can also combo this with Satchel since you know that if anybody's on Jen, they're going to be running to this side so you can catch them off guard like that. I'm pretty sure people have seen this molly flash combo by Phoenix on multiple social media platforms at this point so I'm going to show you the lineup that you can use to do it. First go right over here onto this corner just like that. Now from this corner I want you to pay attention to that tip where that door is supposed to be right over there where my crosshair is. That will be your reference point. Take out your molly and I want you to place the top left tip of your hotbar line right below your alt ability icon right there on that reference point. Once you're ready, do a jump throw, run to the entrance, do a flash, so your enemies would naturally try to go onto that corner but it would be mollied off. Now to end the duelist section of our video, here are a few neon stun lineups. The first one would be for Ascent, so if you aim anywhere above that box right over there right on that line, you should concuss anybody on that box and Heaven. You can also aim at the right side of this wire right here. This lineup concusses both Jen and Heaven. And the last one for A site, if you throw your stun right there on DICE, it should concuss both DICE and up close right. For the B site, you see this on the neon trailer, aim anywhere on those bricks right over there that don't have paint, it should concuss both Market and Stairs. And lastly, for retaking B site, aim at the center of that sign right there. This should concuss close left. Now, I would like to show you a few hidden chamber trips for this map. The first one would be right here on B site. You can hide the chamber trip right behind that trash right over there. You can also hide it behind this trash right over here. It's almost as if they're referencing how trash the chamber nerf was. Now, Sage's low orbs is one of the best pieces of util when it comes to stopping a push. So I present to you some long distance Sage slow orbs from downtown here on this map. So if you're holding from market here on B site and your teammates call out that the enemies are going A, you can go right over here onto this corner just like that. And from this corner, you just have to aim at the bottom of this diamond shape right there by the boards on the roof. Take out your orb and then do a throw. This should land right there at the entrance of A main. If you're holding a site, you can go right over here onto the corner of dice just like that. And I want you to pay attention to that corner right over there. That will be your reference point. Now take out your orb and I want you to place the top left hotbar line which is below your heal ability icon right there on that reference point. And then do a regular throw. This should land right there on tiles. And lastly, for a lineup that lands right here on mid top, you can once again go right over here on dice and I want you to pay attention to that corner right over there. That is the reference point and what you want to line up with it is the top left tip of your hotbar line right below your alt ability icon right there. Once that's done, well, you know the rest. If you follow my TikTok or watch my YouTube shorts, you should know this setup by now, but if you don't, I'm gonna show it to you. Here's my cipher setup for Ascent A site. So you want to go right over here at the edge of Gen, take out your camera, and place it right over there. That should be a pretty difficult camera to break considering how high it is so people don't normally aim that high, and it gets a good view of sight also as well. After that, take out your trip and aim right over there. This trip should cover anybody trying to close the door. And for your second trip, go right over here onto this corner and aim right there on Gen covering pretty much all of A-Sight. Then you want to position yourself at heaven, place your cages right over there if they don't smoke it off, and then go on your camera. Wait for the enemies to come in, they hit your trip wires, you take your shots, easy clap, no cap. And for the last trick in the Sentinels category, here's a double agent ult combo that I saw on VCT. So when the Killjoy ults right over here in the middle of Switch, it covers pretty much all of B site for the retake, right? So you can pair this ult with an Astro ult, so all the two have to do is hold the two entrances of the Astro ult, because the enemies have no choice but to push the lockdown in order to stop it, otherwise they'd get detained and they would lose the round. Now here's a nice little mechanic that you may not know, Omen Smoke actually breaks the Ascent window. You might think this is useless, but this can actually help in clutch situations when outplaying your enemy. So if you plant the spike right over here and the enemy has no clue where you are, if you know that the window hasn't been broken yet, you can throw a smoke in that direction. This should break the window, giving an audio cue to your enemy, giving them a false sense of where you are. Okay, here's a brimstone lineup for Ascent B site. I know, I know, you're tired of the lineups, but I'm considered a lineup nerd for a reason. Okay, let's keep going. You want to go right over here onto this corner right over here. Now from this corner, I want you to pay attention to that box thing right over there. I don't know what to call it, but pay attention to the bottom right tip of it. Just like that. That is the reference point. Now take out the molly and I want you to place the top tip of your molly ability icon right there on that reference point. Once that's done, fire up this molly. 
I wouldn't recommend using brimstone lineups though unless you pair it with his ult, otherwise the travel time for the lineup would be too long giving the enemies the chance to defuse, so keep that in mind. Are you tired of overcomplicated lineups? Well too bad, here's another one. Here's a full on viper execute for ascent a site. So at the start of the round you want to go right over here at the center of this grate right here, it doesn't have to be perfect, and then you want to pay attention to the bottom of this corner right over here, that will be the reference point. Take out your poison orb and I want you to place the top right tip of your poison bar right there on that reference point. Once that's done, do a regular throw. That should land on dice. Right after that, you want to go right over here onto this corner and then cast your wall like so. The orb covers dice, the wall covers heaven, and tree at the same time. But Jeriel, what about this corner right over here? The enemies could be camping there. We'll get to that. After you fire up your wall, you want to go right over here onto this box and I want you to pay attention to the bottom left tip of that square thing right over there. That is the reference point. Take out your molly and I want you to place that dot right above your snakebite ability icon thing right there on that reference point. And then do a regular throw. But just you wait, we're not done yet. This is my main agent, I'm gonna make as many lineups as I want with her. Pay attention to the bottom right corner of that box right over there and then place the center of your ult ability right there on that reference point. Once that's done, do a regular throw. Okay, let's put it all together. You've thrown your poison orb, you've thrown your stuff, you fire these two mollies and they both land right over there. Now isn't that execute just beautiful? Now people have seen the swoop peak before, but you can do the reverse of that with harbor. You can right click throw your cove and then take a few shots just before the cove pops up. This should block you from any fire coming from your enemies, protecting you after you take your shot. This is called the cove peak. You can get an aggressive peak like so, and then the cove will protect you as you fall back. Now I'll be honest, this video took me forever to make so I would like to apologize for everybody who was waiting. But I would also like to say thank you because as of editing this video, we are at 2.1 thousand subscribers. Thank you so much people, it really means a lot to me. And if you've ended up enjoying this video or have found these tips and tricks useful, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this because apparently, 99% of you aren't for some reason, that's really sad actually. So subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I also have a new video that's coming out with a pretty unique concept. And if you have tips and tricks of your own, feel free to tag me on any of my socials, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, whichever one you want to use. The username's Jermac Butter. I'm pretty much the only person as of now who has that username, so feel free to tag me. And lastly, for the people who made it this far into the video, I really appreciate you. You people are the real ones. So comment down lineups so that I know. So anyways, that's the end of the video. Use these in your games and good luck on the grind, people.